Brandon is in the back seat of an Uber with Mike. Thanks for picking me up. Hey, I'm glad to do it. I missed you. I've missed you too. How long did Shauna get sent down? 30 years. Damn, it's harsh. Hey, where's Diane? She's in New York with my mom and dad. My mom wanted to spend some time with her new granddaughter. Why don't you sound happy about that? Well, I am, but, well, on the other hand, they've just brought a whole new Dolce & Gabbana dress for Diane, and guess what? I'm being billed, so, yay! I am not a happy man. Well, I'm glad Diane's bonding with your parents. Still, the whole Shauna thing is brutal, man. It's like an innocent person being jailed for murder. Except the jury of her peers found her guilty on all charges of murder. Shauna killed her ex-boyfriend, Mike. Still, it's harsh. Although, saying that, back in the 80s, my next-door neighbor got caught selling weed and was sentenced to 20 years. Seriously? 20 years for selling weed? That's all he did? Okay, fine. His wife was sleeping with a man he ran over with his truck. And there it is. So, how far along is Whitney? Far along in what? Her pregnancy, Mike. When I left, you told me Whitney was pregnant three months ago. So that's, you know, one of the reasons why I'm back in town. Oh, yeah. I lied. What? No. Hang on. Ugh. You know what? Why am I even surprised? Sorry. It was the only way I could guarantee you'd come back. Well, I had other reasons too, you know. Heck what? You. Come on. I'm not buying that. I'm serious, bud. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. Oh, you're just too easy sometimes. You still love Whitney? I still love my son, sure. I miss Leo. You also miss Whitney. Gotcha. Mike, I'm not here to see Whitney. Look, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. You've avoided Whitney for too long. Put an innocent kid in the middle of your problems. It's not fair on Leo. Well, what's Whitney told you? You two need to talk. Or at the very least, work out visitation rights so Leo doesn't get caught in the middle for much longer. You think I haven't been trying to get to the resolution here? You know, Whitney's kept things from you, Mike. Look, do you know how damaging separation can be on kids? Trust me, it hurts like a bitch. Your number one job as a parent is to prevent your kids from being damaged. You know, that's the smartest thing I've ever heard you say. Have you been hitting the books? No. But I've lived life, if that helps. Fine. I'll see Whitney. We'll make a plan for Leo, and, and then I'll leave. How long are you in town? About two weeks, and then I'm back in Michigan. I'm putting a sweater on Leo. He's got the flu. The front door opens. Mike and Brandon enter. Mike? Is that you? Yeah. And I've brought home a friend. No, Mike. I'm not dating any more of your friends. They're soulless jerks. Brandon and Mike enter the living room. Uh, hi. Get out! Come on, Whitney. I said get out of my house, Brandon! Whitney. You need to talk to him. I'm not talking to that jerk. He needs to leave my house, or I'll hurt him. I'm here to see my son, Whitney. Leo tries to get up from the couch to hug Brandon, but I push him back to his seat. You lost all rights to your son the minute you walked out of his life, and didn't call him for months. You made it hard for him to get in contact with Leo, Whitney. That's bullshit! You changed the numbers. No, I didn't! Brandon, why did you say Whitney changed her number if that's not the case? Uh, I, uh, I might have lied because the truth of the matter is a lot harder to swallow. 
Plus, I, I didn't want you in the middle of our issues. Has this problem escalated? Have you two been hiding things from me? Maybe. Whitney, you served me with an injunction which meant I couldn't come within two miles of you and Leo. Whitney, come on! Why would you do that? I was protecting my son. Uh, you were protecting him from his loving father. Yeah, I'm sure. Fuck you! Whitney, I'm going to be in my son's life. Our judge agreed with me, so hence, I'm here. So you need to deal with that. Fine. Hang out with your son. But stay the fuck away from me. Have you got that? With pleasure. Sweetie, I need to go shopping. Do you want to come with me or stay with... Leo gets up from the couch and goes to hug Brandon. Okay, well, suit yourself. Mike, watch Brandon. Any sudden moves, call the cops. I exit. Do you miss you? Yeah, I doubt that, but thanks. Mike follows me out. I walk out of the front door. Mike is behind me. He grabs my arm and spins me around. I'm furious. What? Mike! What the hell do you want? You know what? What are you thinking? What do you mean? I mean, how could you purposely keep Brandon away from Leo for that long? You served the man you love with an injunction to keep him away from his kid. It's your freaking humanity. I'm sorry, but Brandon broke my heart. So, what? You try to take everything he loves from him? Better than that. I was heartbroken. How many times do I have to say that before it sinks in? You still had the control to mend yourself. Instead, you chose to hide and fight dirty. That's inexcusable. How exactly would I have mended myself? Starters, you could have talked to Brandon. You could have gotten on the same page and found a solution to your issues. He would have still left. I couldn't face that heartbreak. You should have given him the option to return. You shut the doors when he left and destroyed your lives. You need to stop reading books. It's making you much brighter than you need to be, and I freaking hate it. How could you just let him go without a fight? Better than that. You clearly don't know me that well. Oh, I know my best friend. I'm your... what? <laughs> heard me. I don't make a habit of repeating myself. We're best friends. I like this for us, Mike. You still love him? You love Brandon? Hang on. That's a dumb question. You do. I'm that obvious, am I? Is that a yes? I'm not answering that. Whitney, do you still love Brandon? <sighs> Maybe. I don't know. Do you want this fixed? Do you want to be with him? Can you face more weeks away from him? If there's a no to the latter question, you need to head back into the house and fight for the man you love. Well, what if... What if he doesn't take me back? Brandon loves you. I know you love him. Love finds a way, no matter what. I don't think we can make it work. You no. Know, Mahatma Gandhi once said, Where there is love, there is life. That man in there loves you with all his might. You? Do I love him the same way he loves me? Do you? Uh, yes! There! I said it! I hate you sometimes. You make me say the craziest things imaginable. I hate that. I'll take Leo to the park. Talk to Brandon. Make more babies for me. You're gross, dude. You still want to do it, don't you? <laughs> I smack Mike on the arm. Shut up.
Mike enters the house. I take a beat to brace myself before heading back into the house. Brandon follows me into the kitchen. I gesture for him to take a seat at the kitchen island. He does. I walk to my kitchen counter and unwrap a kitchen foil from a cheesecake. I slice two pieces. I pull out two plates from a drawer and put both slices on the plates. I take both dishes and put them next to Brandon and me. I take a seat at the kitchen island next to Brandon. I put on a smile. So, what's going on? Who says anything is going on? Last time we talked, I felt you wanted to rip off my Adam's apple with your teeth and kill me. Don't be silly. If I wanted that, you'd be dead already. This bitch is evil. Some would say I'm worse than Shauna. I agree. Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. What do you want? I want to tell you that there's still feelings here. I still have feelings for you. I wish I didn't, but hey, I'm crazy. I... I don't know how to respond to that. Why don't you try saying you like me back? Or maybe your heart still beats for me. Whitney, you pushed me away. Yeah, well, you played a pretty big hand in that whole affair, so don't blame me. You made it difficult for me to come back here and fight for you. All I'm hearing is your inability to take responsibility for your actions. I was doing an honorable thing. Yeah, sure. Hey, my daughter needed me. I went to rescue her. You you know I would do anything for my family. Yeah, and I'd do anything for mine. Only you didn't want me to be part of that family. You chose to leave and forget us. Bullshit. I didn't forget you. How often did you call your son to read him a bedtime story over the phone? And how many times would you constantly block my number every time I tried to call? Yeah? Well, I was trying to force your hand so you'd come back in town and see us face to face. But obviously, that didn't work. So I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I'm sorry too. But you need to apologize to me for the terrible job you did in handling our breakup. I can't move past this whole event until you do. You need to offer up concessions too. Fine. I will. I'm waiting. I'm trying to think of what I did wrong here. Brandon! Okay, fine. Maybe I should have told you sooner what was happening between Shauna and Diane. If I was on sooner, then we could have worked out a deal where we could have moved and lived in Michigan. Together? Yes. For that, I'm sorry. Great. Whitney need you to apologize for trying to get an injunction on me. I was desperate for you to come to the table and talk to me, so I acted. You had access to my lawyers. Why didn't you just set up a meeting or something? I got scared that I'd see you and face up to the fact that you'd leave me again. And I couldn't handle that. Whitney, I... Um... Actually, I need the toilet. Can we hit a pause on this? Fine. But don't think you can escape me. You'll never run from me again. That's frightening. And hey, I'm not going anywhere. Brandon exits. I'm washing dishes as Brandon walks over and hugs me from behind. He kisses my neck. I turn around with a smile. Just so you know, I haven't seen other women since we've been apart. Just wanted to make that clear. Yeah, well, I've seen other men. Brandon takes a seat at the kitchen island. Oof, not doing a good job of winning me back here, Whitney. Sorry, but it's the truth. Well, are you currently seeing anyone? I mean, if that's a yes, we might as well end this meeting and just go our separate ways. You're such a drama queen. Get a life. I'm serious here, Whitney. There's no one. Mike can attest to that. Okay, let's, let's bring this back. What do we both want? I want a life. I want a happy ending to our story. I want you to be the lead of this story with me. I want us to raise our son and daughter. I want a family. Uh, um, well, 
Why? I mean, what, what's, um, what's so special about me? How about you tell me what's unique about me for a change? <laughs> what? What's so funny? <laughs> Nothing. Just something that just hit me. What? What has? Well, just uh, how much I love you. How much do you love me? Whitney, I love you because only you somehow can paint my world with such bright colors and bring meaning to my life. Oh? I mean, I know it's sad sounding, but it's the truth. You're singing to my heart. Do you have any more words to lavish me with? Wit, I'm the happiest when I'm beside you. So, when you re-entered my life, I felt utterly blessed to have you beside me. I genuinely feel like you're Sinatra, serenading me with love songs. <laughs> I just, I couldn't imagine having anyone else in my life. I knew I needed you with me, always and forever. Even though I... Yes, even though you kidnapped me to force me back into your life, I think there was always a part of me that knew you were where I wanted to belong. I kiss Brandon. We kiss for a beat, and then I break it up. Is it too early to suggest a proposal? Yes, incredibly so. But hey, I won't rule out doing that soon. You're the woman of my dreams. You're the future mother of my daughters and sons. You're my home. Okay, shorts down. We're doing it right here, right now. Let's go, sunshine. <laughs> Brandon reaches for me. I go into his arms with ease, and we kiss. This story has come to a beautiful end. It started with kidnapping and ended up with love. There's no better end to a story than that. We hope you've enjoyed this series of I've Got You. It was voiced by me, Jake Johnston. And me, Melanie Rose. And me, Chakri Matianan. The show was written, produced, and directed by Joao Nisita. If you like this series, please share it with family and friends. If you're listening to this episode on Spotify or Apple Podcast, please leave that love podcast to review and rate us. Thank you for listening to this fantastic series. We can't wait to bring you more amazing shows on this incredible podcast. Thank you. Have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are.